Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I'm so happy to have you here today and I'm participating in a candy collab with these lovely ladies, a scrum diddly umptious candy inspired collab. These ladies and I get together the 20th of each month and come up with a theme. So I started out my Cricut Design Space. I had uploaded these graphics I had purchased when I did. I chose Print and Cut. Now when I bring it in here, I'm just going to size it uh, because it's going to make a black line around the outside so that the Cricut can make sure it aligns it well to cut those out for me. So I just sized that up and it'll give you an exclamation point on the right side in that box if it's too big. So here it is, it looks good. Now I'm going to choose my printer settings. So when I click print to sender or send a printer, it is going to come up with the settings. I choose my printer, I set bleed and when I choose here it'll allow me to go into my printer and then select photo paper and best quality and that's all you need to do for this hypo dark iron on paper now i'm going to choose that it's a dark iron on paper so that the cricut knows how to cut it and there we are so now i just click and my printer printed it and now I'm just pulling, I sent it through the Cricut, the Cricut cut it out. And so I'm just pulling off the excess here. Now for my candy inspired, I'm doing that gingerbread house. I got this placement at the Dollar Tree. This one was from last year, but I was able to pick up a white and black one and I ironed it there to get out any moisture. And now I'm just going to lay it out. I do want to take a moment to apologize. I had done some other items for this collab, but my photo card decided to say all the files on it were corrupt. So this is what I came up with quick tonight so that I could get this out for you tomorrow. So please accept my sincere apologies. But I think this is cute and I'll also offer you a 40% off discount if you want to buy this off Amazon. So I love this product. As you can see, it was kind of light. Once you heat it up here, you can use your own iron. It'll give you some parchment paper to put over the top and boom, look at this beautiful color. So this product will be in my description box below along with the playlist so that you can see all of those wonderful inspired items. But look how cute this turns out. I love it. The other ladies are making some wonderful faux candy, some just great fun Christmas candy inspired things. You're going to have to check out that list. I do hope that you like this one and I appreciate you being so understanding and understanding that I really wanted to at least get one out for you. I do hope that you'll give a thumbs up and think about subscribing and take a look at my other videos. I appreciate each of you. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.